safe mode ended. Threat neutralization in it. Ship above. This looks like a shipping manifest. It shows the Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it proves that the Volus is a criminal. Valuable information to the Volus. We've got to keep moving. Think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. You need help. You need help. You stand before the mightiest biotic ever. Yes, the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Are you part of Pitney Four's trade group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. Don't think he's reported anything. Face it, Pitney will pick money over friends every time. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasaya about like a ragdoll. This idiot is no challenge to anyone. I will tear her apart. 
My biotics are unstoppable. Wasea will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last. But, Great Wind, Biotic God, I'm. I. What was I saying? I'm. I. You. may be right. Yes, I'm tired. I'll nap. Destroy the universe later. Useless. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass! Nice work! That the ship the crazy Asari wanted to find? Should we head back to the police station and give her the name, or look around first? Let's give her the name and keep moving. Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this area. 
I don't know what they put in me, but I thought I was... Well, you saw. Anyway, thank you, Shepard. Thank you for removing the Eclipse threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Also, merely out of curiosity, when you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? We both know this manifest will get you sent away for a long time. Absolutely, Earth Clan. For the manifest, I'll give you all the creds I made selling the Minigen. Here's the manifest. Next time you do something illegal, don't write it down. An excellent point, Earth Clan. You're clearly a better criminal than I. A pleasure doing business. Thank you for removing... Also... Merely out of curiosity. You never know when something like this might come in handy. If it might change your mind, Earth Clan, returning that manifest would be very profitable for you. If you give it to the detective, her reward will be a pat on the back. If you have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Eclipse smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. She's who you're really after, isn't she? You continue to impress. Yes, I was here tracking the Ardat Yakshi. She is a dangerous criminal, and I will bring her to justice. After your mission is complete, of course. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service, so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. You'll be a great asset to our mission. I'm excited to have you along. I am glad to hear it. I will fight by your side, kill your enemies, and protect your friends. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you just up my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard, and any evidence he brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. 
I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. It's a shame this Elnora escaped. But I'll get her. At least you put her on the run. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney 4 smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. I'll be on my way. Be well. Value the Justicar. I've never heard of one working with a human before. I am ready to leave, if you are. Shall we return to your ship? I'd like to look around a bit first. Very well. I'm still grounded. What's going on? Just a car when I was young. Every star he does. I am ready to leave if you are. Shall we return to your ship? Let's go. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on Deck 3. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. There is nothing more absolute than the oath of an Asari Justicar. You did well getting Samara on our side. She is so elegant and gorgeous. Too bad her manner is just so... cold. I didn't recruit her for her looks. The Normandy already has you, Kelly. <laughs> you are just too sweet. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal.
Excuse me, my sources indicate you were in a warehouse recently. Did you by any chance forward a questionable shipping note to a Mr. Thax? It looked suspicious, so I passed it on. I'm a representative for Mr. Thax. He's very grateful to you. Please accept this as a gift for bringing the shipping irregularities to his attention. What happens to the shipping agent who is cheating Thax? That depends on how sincere her apology is, and how willing she is to correct her mistake. Do you want help finding the person who cheated Thax? Thank you, but that won't be necessary. Mr. Thax will be making a series of polite calls. Hopefully a confrontation will not be required. It was my pleasure. Have a pleasant day.
Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Uh, I can't believe these humans. No fly lists? What did they turn this place into? I overheard you talking. Having a problem? It's a private matter. Give me a chance. I might be able to help. I don't see why you would. Since your kind gained a seat on the Council, they've taken over CSEC Customs. There are hundreds of new security checks and travel restrictions. We've been flagged as a potential risk for Geth infiltration. They won't let us board a ship back to Asari space. Why would they consider you a risk? You're obviously not Geth. I don't know. They wouldn't tell us. We got on a list somewhere for some reason, and they won't tell us anything because it's classified. Who won't let you board a ship? I don't know who made the decision. Some pencil pusher at the shuttle port told us. The one outside the C-Sec station? I'll see if I can get it sorted out. I'm not holding my breath. Thank you, sir? I talked to a couple of Asari. They say customs won't let them leave the station, but they weren't told why. Can you help me out? I'm sorry, sir, but all matters related to station security are classified. We can't risk geth infiltration. Revealing why someone is on a watch list might compromise the safety of c sex undercover agents. Hypothetically speaking, what would clear them to go? I don't know. There's no process in place to get people off the watch list. There's a bunch of ways to get them on, though. Emily Wong did an expose about it last month. The only way she got a blacklisted person through the system was with a forged ID. Even then, it only worked once. No, thank you. Just passing through. Next! Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Good news. I found you some new transit IDs. You... how did you get those? If you don't want them, I could just take them back. No, no, I'll take them. With thanks. We should get ready to leave. There should be another ship heading to Thessia tomorrow.
How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. No messages for you, Commander. So the Collectors were once Protheans, repurposed by the Reapers. What a sad end. Makes you wonder if the Keepers on the Citadel were once something different. So, Commander, even your Asari are trained killers? You get everyone at the same store or something? I assume everything is going well up here? This thing wants to fire me over a joke! Okay, I said I'd flash the AI core, but I was kidding. And we'd only lose a few systems. Nosy ones. To clarify. Human resources adjustments are not actually under my authority. Then why? Why are you always picking on me? My replies were intended to provoke, though not to cause distress. Your reactions are atypical of most humans. You are interesting. Edie, were you intentionally egging him on? What part of your programming covers that? Nothing in the restrictions imposed upon me forbids active observation techniques. Mr. Moreau's performance actually improved under duress. I never figured the coming overlords would be so annoying. I'm just... I'm done. That's it for now. See you, Commander.